Hello, Fun Nation. My name is James, checking in at IRI with team number 111-0101-000. And by that, I mean it's 7028, the Binary Battalion out of Minnesota. Here with me to talk about this awesome robot, I have Tate, Alex, and Finn. They got a massive turret, effective shooter, and so much more to dive into on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. All right, Tate, why don't you tell us a little bit more about this Einstein robot? This is Tempo, our 2024 Crescendo robot and he has an under bumper intake, which leads into our indexer, into our turret shooter, that has nearly a 360 degree range of motion. Uh, we have nice LEDs here for communication between the human player driver and uh, coach. Uh, we have non-inverted swerves and inverted swerves. We use the non-inverted swerves for just space management within the robot. And we have a driver camera right here just for ease of access at the source. Uh, we also have a mount for our 360 camera, which we use to detect uh, errors and debugging during matches. Very cool, Tate. Can we actually put a note into this robot and see what it looks like to go through? Very nice demo, thank you. Yeah. So Tate, com pretty complex design here with your robot. Can you tell me about some of the prototyping that went into making this design happen? So since two years ago, we had this robot that we make pretty much just to test ideas and we call it Brad. It was someone labeled a piece of metal with the name Brad on it, so it just stuck. So pretty much we have Alex, he cads up a quick design with certain subsystems we find and then we figure out ways to put it all together and we make a robot out of it, which we bring to our week zeros and we figure out where it's bad and we improve upon it for the next robot, like Tempo 1 and Tempo 2. So Alex, I understand you guys went through a fair amount of iteration during the season this year, even in between competitions. Can you tell me a little bit more what that looks like for the Binary Battalion? Yes, so the robot was very different at our first regional. It was very different before the season officially started. There have been a lot of iterations. We've made a lot of changes. At our first regional, there was an entire subsystem right about here above the intake to amp but our robot had a lot of complications it was very heavy so we had to cut a lot of weight and we might have made some shortcuts that ended up hurting us in the long run and so after that first regional we did very poorly at that regional and we made a bunch of changes to make the robot more durable and more reliable and to make sure that it wasn't breaking down all the time at our competitions so overall it's a lot beefier now. It weighs a little bit less than it used to. And between now and Worlds, we've made it even stronger. So we've replaced lots of, a lot of plates that were an eighth of an inch thick with plates that were a quarter of an inch thick. And so the robot's a lot more durable now. I think it's gonna not break at this regional. Well, thank you, Alex. Always good to hear about a very positive design process and cycle. Now, Finn, can you tell us a little bit more about some of the software on 7028? What does that look like? What makes this robot tick? Um, okay, so the robot software is um, a little, it's surprisingly complex because our robot operates, it has a lot of interacting sub, multi, interacting multiple subsystems with each other. And so to account for this, we've had to do some uh, solidly complex programming. The shooting on the robot is, um, the robot when it shoots, it moves the turret towards the target, towards the speaker, and it fires. And it knows where it is, not purely based on odometry. We rely on these two cameras here, which um, use April tags to determine where it is. So getting those cameras to get the April tags right, that's been a big struggle, I think. There's been quite a few missed shots because of that, but I think it's been very good to help, um, help our accuracy overall. Um, our, in terms of what our robot does, 
uh, we got we got uh, our design team made a very versatile robot. We have certain uh, things the robot's able to do. For example, what we call Baby Bird is, and the robot is able to intake a note from both the intake and the turret. Um, this is very useful, and it also allows for us to do a move we pulled out a, a couple times in regionals, where we sit in the corner and we take intake from the uh, from the human player that's feeding the notes in, and we just shoot it to the middle. And you can't really guard that because we're not even moving. The LEDs took a solid amount of programming. As you can see, it's a solidly uh, deliberate system. We have a lot of different, a um, lot of different uses with the LEDs. Uh, for example, I can't show you it here, but because uh, if I shoot, it'll shoot something, and I don't want to do that. Um, but when we shoot, we have different stages of the LEDs light up depending on what the shooter has accomplished uh, and what it needs to accomplish in order to actually fire because there are obviously a bunch of pre-existing conditions the shooter has to fulfill in order for it to be able to fire. Well, Finn, thank you so much for diving into the software, a little bit of the strategy as well of your team, Binary Battalion. Awesome to dive into this whole robot. You guys have had a great successful season with the regional win and the division win at the World Championship. Can't wait to see what you guys do in future seasons, as well as here at IRI this weekend. Best of luck to you. Thank you for talking with us. My name is James. This has been Behind the Bumpers. Thank you for watching. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions.